Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam. I'm happy as hell, and I can definitely take a lot more, because today we're going to be talking about Network. This was directed by Sidney Lumet, a director who had a long and lengthy career from, like, the mid to late 1950s all the way up to the early 2000s and almost into the 2010s. This was written by Patty Chayefsky, who is considered by many to be one of the greatest screenwriters of all time, and it starred Faye Dunaway, William Holden, Peter Finch, and Ned Beatty, among others. And there's a good chance that if you're watching this video, you know this premise by heart. However, to those of you who have never heard of this movie, the basic plot is this. A news anchor, played by Peter Finch, is about to retire after many years of being on the air. However, shortly before his retirement, he has a complete nervous breakdown, and some of it is caught on air. And the new executive of the struggling news network UBS, played by Faye Dunaway, says, Hey, let's not retire him. Let's bring him back. And use him for some ratings. And what we get is labeled as a black comedy, and it is. But we also get a movie that in many ways is disturbingly relevant today. This was my first time viewing, and, well, yeah. This movie got endlessly praised, no matter where I turn, film, Twitter, Letterboxd, or even just in the outside world in general. You bring up network, someone's like, I'm mad as hell and I can't take it anymore, or you will atone, or something like that. Basically, this movie is regarded as one of the finest ever made, and now that I have seen it, I totally understand why. The movie came about because Sidney Lumet was doing research into, into news stations, and this was also around the same time that the first suicide was ever caught on camera. And Sidney Lumet knew that he wanted to do something that was either a satire of or kind of a twisted mirror image of what the news media was like in the mid to late 1970s. Lumet teamed up with Patty Chayefsky, who, like I mentioned, is regarded as one of the greatest screenwriters who ever lived. He won three Academy Awards, one for Network, one for Marty, and one for The Hospital. So, it's pretty safe to say that Chayefsky has, learned, has earned his legendary status. And in research for this movie, Chayefsky went to various news offices, including CBS and ABC, and would sit on many meetings between the news the news people, and he was shocked to discover that news executives were not really concerned about what people liked or disliked. They thought of, what do I want to see, and do the complete opposite of that. And Chayefsky took the rationale that people don't like these happy, fun time shows. Their brand is chaos, and they want to see all of the, all of the stuff warts and all. That rationale combined with, in our history, the Watergate scandal that had just wrapped up as this film as this film was being released, and final defeat in Vietnam, which was either happening or just about to happen, basically provided a perfect storm for this movie to have all the source material they could have ever needed. And wow, this movie is just disturbingly relevant today. The last thing that I want this video to be is a politics video. I think politics is quite frankly exhausting and just not really useful. However, I'm learned enough to know that there were several times where I was like, yep, this new movie predicted that, and this movie is like Nostradamus with his crystal ball. No matter where you turn, left, right, center, regardless. Our news today is obsessed with ratings. It doesn't matter how true the news is. The more sensational, the better. And my point is that this movie feels less like a satire and more like a prediction of what was to come. And of course, the acting in this movie is absolutely stellar. You have Peter Finch, who would win an Oscar for this, because of course he did. He more than deserved it. And I didn't really know where else to put it in this review, but... Shortly after the filming of this movie, Peter Finch went on to do another project, and while he was filming that, he tragically passed away. When he won the Oscar, it was a posthumous Oscar. No spoilers, but let's just say what happens to him in this movie is very... eerie. Finch is great, but the rest of the cast is just as good, if not better. 
Robert Duvall, who was always awesome, is just fantastic here. Faye Dunaway is excellent as well. And William Holden almost steals the whole thing. Ned Beatty is pretty much in one scene, but his, his role is completely unforgettable. And I'll leave it with this. This movie is depressingly relevant nowadays, like I talked about earlier. If you have never seen this movie, it deserves at least one watch, and, well, considering the horrible year that we've just experienced in 2020, let's just say... Network kind of called a lot of it. But that is all for me, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, and... In my cabaret video, I mistakenly said that the next video in the AFI project was the African Queen, and it turned out to be this video, Network. So the order would have been Cabaret Network, then African Queen, not Cabaret African Queen, then Network. My apologies for that, I just realized that while I was literally filming this video. However, the next AFI project video will be the African Queen, and then the next video after that will be Raiders of the Lost Ark. But if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way, when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, I'll see you in the next one.